Hey guys, Gamer Gregor here, and this is a video response to Alpha Omega Sin's video about um, IGN uh, possibly rigging uh, the the uh, ratings on their their rating system, the video game uh, rating system, uh, depending on whether those companies have paid them for advertising or not. And um, I guess some somebody that used to work there came forward and. Uh, anonymously came forward and uh, said that uh, that was true, you know. And I think uh, th there's probably a lot of merit to that because I've, I've seen the same sort of thing, uh, you know, where you got the, the banner ads all around uh, the video and then the uh, rating for it comes out and surprisingly enough, the uh, rating on the uh, video game <laughs> is uh, high, uh, high, high, way up there. Uh, 9.0, 9.5, something like that, even if the game isn't really that great, and usually the review itself isn't that far off, you know, um, it's mostly the the scoring system on those things, which which to me personally, um, it doesn't really affect me, because I buy games just based on, uh, usually I don't buy new games unless it's a series I know something about, or I know something about the developer that made it. So, but uh, for a lot of people, I guess uh, ratings are really important on because uh, they determine whether they want to buy a game or not. So uh, they're important in that aspect because they help uh, fund, you know, games. You want good games to keep coming out. You need good ratings because then more people buy the game and it gets better funding and stuff. And um, I, I really don't doubt they rig the uh, ratings like that. Like uh, this game here. I, I don't think this game deserves a 9.0 or a 9.5 or whatever they gave it. You know, that's not to say it's a bad game, but uh, it's not... Uh, I mean, the, the single-player campaign's really short. The multiplayer's alright, but, I mean, it doesn't deserve all those accolades, you know? I mean, uh, like like I said, it's a good game, but it's not a it's not a the best game of the year or anything like that for sure and uh, then you got games like this where they don't have a bunch of uh, advertising all over this the IGN's website but uh, they still um, it's a great game but they only give it you know 7.5 or something which is I guess that's fair I mean it's their opinion but uh, I would be willing to bet if uh, Namco, I think, is who makes this, uh, paid them all kinds of things to put it all over their website. I guarantee it'd be a 9.0 or a 9.5, because it's just as good as any of those other things that are 9.0 or 9.5. Um, the other thing you got to realize about the rating system, though, is, uh, nobody really uses a true 1 to 10 scale. Uh, the, <laughs> the, um... The scale everybody's working on is really more uh, 5 to 10. Uh, if a game... I, I don't think I've really seen many games get below a 5 um, on any scoring system, unless it's like a compilation of user ratings kind of thing. But on regular review uh, videos and stuff like that, I usually people don't go below 5 ever. And 5 is like a really bad game. So, <laughs> um, I don't know. It's all kind of... I think it's it's kind of ill-sighted to go by ratings anyways, just because uh, just because somebody says something is bad doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. I mean, uh, just because they... I think the better way to put it is just because somebody doesn't like it doesn't mean it's bad. Now, there can be things functionally bad about a game, like, um, you know, Skyrim on the PlayStation 3... I don't know if it's been fixed yet, it probably has been, but um, when it first came out, you could say, functionally, it was bad. Yet, what rating does it get? Uh, you know, something pretty high up there, I'm sure. Uh, and then something that's, you know, functionally works, and somebody just doesn't like, it gets a lower rating. So, um, you know, I, I do think it is controlled a lot by advertising and how much uh, moolah they're, uh, they're, they're, uh, these developers are willing to pay the company, and also um, how much they're not willing to pay the company if they give them a bad rating, and next time they won't. You know, if if uh, if um, 
for example, if, if uh, IGN gave uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 a 6.5 because they thought it wasn't very good, you know, the chances of EA going back to IGN next time and giving them this huge truckload of money to put advertisements all over their site is going to be a lot slimmer. So uh, it makes sense from a business standpoint, but it really uh, <laughs> messes up a lot of their credibility, I think. And uh, for, for these kind of things, I think it's really just better, uh, if you want my advice, to, to go look at gameplay footage and kind of decide for yourself or play, you know, download the demo. Uh, a lot of these things have demos now. If you're curious about a game, I wouldn't go by reviews at all, to be honest. Uh, unless it's like a, a user um, on some website where you know they're going to give you an honest answer and they're not necessarily being paid by a company. Um, the other thing you got to understand about reviews is if a company is more likely to give a good review for a game, uh, the company that makes the game is l more likely to release... Um, the game to those reviewers first. And uh, being the first one on the scene to get a game review released is a big deal, kind of. Um, it draws in more traffic, and it's, uh, you know, I get why they do all this. It's just, it kind of jerks the end user, which is you, around. So, uh, that's my opinion on the whole thing, and... Uh, just take reviews with a grain of salt, I guess is uh, my whole point. Anyways, talk to you next time.